This uh, video demonstrates modeling of tailstock body in cryoparametric. This is uh, the finally modeled uh, tailstock uh, body which is uh, having the overall dimensions that is uh, measure the distance from uh, this face to the extreme end face. This distance is around uh, 305 millimeters. Similarly, if we measure the width from this face to this face, this width is around 150 millimeters. Similarly, if we measure the distance from uh, this top edge or the circular edge or this cylindrical surface to the extreme bottom corner or the bottom face that distance is uh, 108 millimeters and uh, 108 millimeters plus this diameter of uh, uh, 84 mm which will uh, give you 192 millimeters approximately <coughs> you can find the four uh, holes which are put at the back end and here is a hole for mounting the tailstock on the lathe bed. This is uh, the oil groove which is provided to lubricate the barrel. And here are the foot rests which are used to guide the tailstock uh, on the lathe bed. So let's begin with uh, modeling of this tailstock. Create a new part file. We go on file, new, under the new file creation window, pick on uh, the file, new, or pick on the new file creation here. Ensure that uh, the name of uh, or the type of this file is the part file and the name of the file is uh, tailstock body. Enter the name. The name should be separated by either the hyphen or underscore. There is uh, no space allowed between the name. And cancel the template that is the inches template used by the Creo parametric so as to make use of the millimeters we on ok here ok it is saying the body is in use so enter the new file enter the millimeter as the unit for this pick on ok maximize this window and switch on the datum planes this is the isometric representation of the model in the space there are three datum planes here right top front and one default coordinate system which is present at the center you can switch on the coordinate system from uh, here this is the part default coordinate system right now we don't need it switch off the data coordinate system now uh, make an extrude or the block which will represent the overall dimensions of this uh, tailstock body that is pick on extrude Pick on the placement. Now define. Read the message here. Select a plane or a surface to define the sketching plane. For me, this plane is a sketching plane. And under the placement window, which is highlighted here, pick on sketch. Now pick on the sketch view so that the plane which we selected will be parallel or will be reoriented for sketching draw the rectangle that rectangle should have the height of 130 plus 20 plus 42 130 plus 20 plus 42 and the width of rectangle to be 150 millimeters <coughs> 
this rectangle let me place it uh, symmetric about the horizontal and the vertical axis for that uh, center line need to be drawn the vertical center line and uh, the horizontal center line use the constraints here under constraints pick on the symmetry here about the vertical center line pick on this line pick on this point and pick on this point about the vertical center line these two points are symmetric and this symbol represent the symmetry symbol a small arrow similar to that pick on the symmetry constraint again about the horizontal line this point and this point need to be symmetric once the dimensions are defined there are no weak dimensions present in this model and this model is perfectly constrained using the required constraints and the dimensions now to complete the sketch and to proceed for the extrude pick on done pick on uh, fit all in and take the default orientation that is the isometric orientation of the model uh, the depth of this model to be 237 plus uh, 68 so enter the value here 237 plus 68 this can be either in this direction or in the reverse direction or it can be made symmetric here let me make it symmetric now the block is been defined this block represents the overall length of the block I mean from this face to the extreme end and the height of the block is from this uh, from uh, this top surface to the bottom edge and the width represents from this left corner to the right corner now cut the body shape on this block we'll pick on the extrude again placement define pick on uh, this front face now pick on the sketch under the placement sketch pick on the sketch view take the necessary references so as to draw the geometry accurately pick on the reference here take the reference of this top edge left edge right edge and the bottom edge pick on close the body shape need to be cut for that we will uh, use uh, uh, the rectangle command first the rectangle command from this corner it will start and the height of this rectangle to be around uh, 20 millimeters and the height of or the width of rectangle is 22 millimeters now draw one more rectangle which will be at the center I mean to say we are cutting this particular rectangle now this rectangle has uh, the width that is not specified apart from that uh, uh, gap is specified that gap is 15 millimeters so dimensions here from uh, this end to this end this dimension would be 15 millimeters this rectangle need to be made symmetric about the vertical axis so center line is must for that center line draw the center vert vertical center line make it symmetric this point and this point to be symmetric about this center line similarly this particular rectangle can be mirrored about the center line center line is must for mirroring put a window to select this complete rectangle and pick on the mirror option here under editing pick on the mirror pick on the center line now draw the profile of uh, the steel stock body that would be like this the circle need to be drawn for that the circle of uh, diameter which is uh, specified in the drawing as uh, 62 millimeters which is uh, having the height of 130 millimeters from this top edge means pick on uh, the dimensions here of this center to this pick on middle button this is 130 millimeters there comes one uh, inclined line and along with the fillet like this inclined line and the fillet 
draw the inclined line the line command starting from somewhere here the second quadrant and drag it till here now draw an arc which will connect the left edge and this recently drawn line pick on the arc here three point arc from this point to this point you can observe the tangency constraint here draw one horizontal line to make uh, the tangency of uh, this particular curve with the horizontal line pick on tangency constraint tangency this arc with this line now the dimension from uh, this top edge to this edge need to be specified and uh, that distance uh, is 25 millimeters 25 once it is done this particular fillet and uh, this line can be mirrored about the vertical center line pick on this uh, vertical inclined line and uh, fillet pick on the mirror option here pick on the center line this will mirror the line on the other side of uh, the center line oh uh, it can be trimmed from uh, using the dynamic trim here this is dynamic trim i want to trim uh, this uh, curve and uh, this curve end and uh, complete this loop so make use of uh, the command that is use edge or project i want to project the edge from the block this edge to be projected this edge to be projected and this edge to be projected that line is extending beyond this fillet so make the corner from here to here similarly the corner from here to here observe and make sure that uh, the profile is now completed for the body you can observe the shaded area which means this is the complete loop and uh, there are no open ends or uh, um, you can see the questionable constraints present over here this geometry is fully constrained with the dimensions the fillet of uh, this dimension need to be specific this fillet of dimension is uh, 27 millimeters this is 27 is the radius once it is done now exit the sketcher or uh, come out of the sketcher to proceed for the extrude pick on done set the isometric projection here in the default orientation this need to be cut in the reverse direction pick on cut material here or remove material material need to be removed throughout that is called as options through all observe that the block is completely cut to its shape pick on done now at the back end this uh, particular face has been tapered in the sense if you take uh, on the right view the the backside portion need to be tapered just already shown here to cut the taper we are going to make use of again uh, the extrude command pick on the extrude here placement define the internal sketch pick on this plane and pick on sketch pick on the sketch here pick on sketch view here so that uh, the sketching can be drawn in the 2d plane now uh, toggle the display to be wireframe pick on this with no hidden here draw an inclined line starting from here till here and uh, draw the lines line till here and complete the loop observe that uh, the dimensions are not yet specified but these are the default uh, dimensions now what can be done is uh, uh, the angle of uh, this line has been given uh, draw on center line somewhere here and uh, specify the angle that is 20 degrees from here to here 20 degrees uh, just put one point across uh, this intersection pick on the point and pick the intersection the dimension is specified this particular point from uh, the end face so the dimension is there from this point or this uh, this line vertical line and this face pick on middle button here and uh, that dimension to be 68 plus 37 plus 104 plus 35 
let me enter the dimension 68 plus 37 plus 104 plus 35 now uh, what the distance from the top edge that is equal to uh, 62 millimeters pick on the dimension here the dimension from the top edge to the this point here that is 62 millimeters and uh, this extension can be of any dimension let's say I want to have the extension outside the boundary to be around 10 millimeters similarly the extension from here to here to be minus 10 millimeters and similarly the dimension from here to here to be around 10 millimeters just to cross the boundary of this model so that cut will be fine and without any ambiguities pick on the done here and uh, check it for the default orientation switch on uh, the shaded mode of this block in the reverse direction cut the material the material can be cut through all there is uh, some modification required in this uh, sketch because it is going to cut the whole block but we want to cut only the portion which is still uh, the stop edge so pick on the placement edit the sketch pick on the sketch view here and uh, take the wireframe mode under the wireframe mode take the reference of uh, this edge pick on the sketch reference or here sketch reference here pick on this edge for reference close it pick on the sketch view I want to dimension it or I want to align this horizontal line to this reference line pick on the coincidence constraint this line to be coinciding with this edge now it is asking do you want to keep this 10 millimeter dimension for us it is not required delete the dimension now pick on done geometry is now been defined perfectly check for the default orientation of the model and shaded mode on this is how the backside portion has been cut pick on done now it is uh, the time to create uh, the cylindrical portion at the front for that again uh, use the extrude command pick on extrude placement define pick on this front face pick on the sketch pick on the sketch pick on the sketch view now use the concentric circle command concentric circle pick on this uh, extreme uh, circular edge and place the circle at the edge itself now pick on done and uh, set the default orientation under the reverse direction i want to cut the material this material should be cut outside the sketch and uh, that is to a depth of uh, 68 millimeters this is how the block is now cut pick on done let us uh, extend uh, the cylindrical portion uh, which is uh, uh, extending uh, this taper portion uh, the length of that particular cylindrical portion from this face is uh, 280 millimeters so we need to offset one datum plane for 280 millimeters pick on the datum plane here pick on this front face and extend it to 280 millimeters by entering the distance that's 280 pick on ok the datum plane 1 is now created pick on the extrude placement define pick on the newly created plane that is this plane pick on sketch pick on the sketch view again make use of the concentric circle and pick on the extreme edge and place the circle on that edge pick on turn under the reverse direction this has to be extruded in this direction and uh, directly use the option as options up to next which means the extrusion will be continued till the next immediate phase that is the step of phase pick on done 
keep our orientation now at the back side end it can be observed that uh, there is one collar and on the collar there is a ring for the collar again use uh, the extrude command pick on the extrude here placement define pick on uh, this plane sketch pick on the sketch here and uh, sketch weave draw the concentric circle from this circle extend this circle diameter till here and uh, that diameter is uh, 72 pick on done this extrusion need to be in the reverse direction to a depth of uh, 12 millimeters enter the 12 millimeters here actually this is 18 millimeters pick on done there exists one ring around this collar that can be done by using the revolve command pick on the revolve pick on the revolve here pick on placement define pick on the vertical plane pick on sketch pick on the sketch view now uh, take the necessary references pick on the sketch view or the sketch references this edge and this is to be taken as a reference and this edge and this is to be taken as a reference along with that the axis of revolution uh, which will be referenced by the axis which is formed by the recent extrude of this collar pick on close now draw a circle the circle which should be lying exactly at the mid of this reference line draw the circle of having the diameter 12 the circle need to be revolved around this axis so put the center line over here or use the center line from here for the revolve horizontal center line now pick on down the ring is now revolved about the center axis this uh, axis or the angle of revolution is 360 degrees pick on down now cut the material from uh, the body we'll pick on the ab default orientation this is how uh, the tail stock is uh, taking uh, its shape step by step pick on the extrude pick on placement and pick on define the internal sketch and select this face pick on sketch pick on sketch view here and draw one rectangle this rectangle to be referenced with the uh, proper references the dimensions of this rectangle from this face to this can be specified here this dimension need to be specified here and uh, the height of uh, this rectangle from the immediate bottom edge is 13 millimeters from here to here they should be 13 millimeters and uh, the height that is this top edge has to align with the cylindrical surface enter the dimensions this will be 37 millimeters 37 the dimension entered is strong 37 millimeters and uh, this should be around 104 and pick on the constraints align constraint here or the coincident constraint this has to coincide with this edge and this is 13 millimeters required dimensions for this pocket are now defined pick on done cut the material in the reverse direction extrusion pick on options cut through all material has been cut completely pick on ab pick on default orientation now there exists uh, one more cut which is going to cut uh, this bottom channels pick on the extrude here or it can be included in the previous extrude itself pick on this extrude pick on the placement or right click here edit definition pick on the placement edit pick on sketch view draw a rectangle set the model display to be no hidden and take the reference of this uh, bottom edge and uh, this backside edge pick on close switch off the datum planes and draw the rectangle 
this rectangle will be from here to here and enter the dimension of 37 millimeters dimension from here to here middle button here and here to here middle button here 37 millimeters similarly here 37 millimeters and uh, this rectangle has to extend after the model that is from here to here it should be around 10 millimeters approximately now pick on done the model is now cut you can observe how it has been cut here take the shaded mode or the shading of this model now put uh, a pad which is used for mounting uh, the bolt or the nut on that pick on extrude placement define pick on the stop face pick on the sketch pick on sketch view take the reference of uh, datum plane which is passing through the cylinder pick on the sketch view and pick on the reference that is this vertical or the horizontal plane now draw the circle which is having uh, the diameter the diameter is uh, around uh, 44 44 enter and, uh, so there will be a loop from here till here you can draw it to the bottom you can extend and can be completed till here use a proper constraint that is horizontal make this line horizontal trim the unnecessary lines pick on trim trim this and trim this pick on the coincident constraint pick on this line and pick on this line now they are coinciding enter this uh, distance from the front edge to be 37 plus 43 pick on the dimension here from here to the center or the dimension from this end to the center middle but middle mouse button here this is uh, 37 plus 43 and uh, it is asking for the width which means uh, there is okay this is not tangent so that's why there is an extra dimension coming over here pick on tangency pick on this horizontal line and this arc now they are tangent the extra dimensions are now gone off pick on done to complete the sketch the height of uh, this uh, to be around uh, six millimeters and pick on done actually when we are extruding this we have uh, entered some wrong dimensions for the cylindrical pad so edit the dimensions placement edit and uh, this is uh, not the 44 instead of that it is having the diameter of uh, 88 pick on done pick on ok pick on the default orientation or the isometric orientation we are approaching close to the final model there exist uh, four holes at the back side at the back end here so put the holes there pick on the hole command use uh, the standard hole standard hole which should be lying on uh, this face and two locations are now free it should be referenced by the axis and it should be referenced by one datum plane uh, the angle or the hole to be of radial type the angle to be zero and uh, the radius of or uh, the pitch circle radius to be about uh, 56 millimeters oh sorry 56 by 2 by 2 this is the radius or the pitch radius this uh, thread to be of uh, metric thread that is ISO M8 into 1.25 pitch pick on this M8 into 1.25 
under the shape uh, the depth of uh, thread to be just uh, 12 millimeters and uh, the depth of uh, thread to be around 2 to 3 millimeters from apart from this depth let's say 15 millimeters of there exists a chamfer at the hole under the shape pick on uh, the counter sink and enter the diameter as 9 millimeters pick on uh, done to complete the hole definition this hole need to be patterned about the center axis hence pick on this hole here in the model tree pick on the pattern and uh, use uh, the axis type pattern here pick on the center axis we want to have the four instances or the four fe features or the four uh, copies of a hole they are should be placed at 90 degrees with respect to each other pick on done the whole definition is now complete now put uh, the hole at the center pick on the extrude here placement define pick on this front face and pick on sketch sketch here pick on the sketch view take the wireframe uh, representation wireframe pick on the concentric circle now take the reference of the circle and this diameter the diameter of this inside circle to be of uh, 30 7 millimeters pick on down take the shaded mode and uh, default representation default orientation reverse direction cut the material options through all the material will be cut throughout the block pick on down now enter or now specify the fillet values change it to the default orientation and uh, pick on the fillet now use the fillet command here that is round pick on this base and the round value to be 37 millimeters similarly pick on uh, the round now this round from uh, this edge to this face so this face to this edge sorry this face to this edge it is not picked the edge is not properly picked this edge the edge is not properly picked okay let me come for the round come on once again pick on the round here the round need to be from this face pick on undo 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 okay pick on this face now and press hold control pick on this edge you can find the fillet which is formed over here this fillet value to be 43 millimeters pick on down there is some problem existing over here so pick on this pick on the round again the round has been failed delete that feature once again come for the round the round uh, can enter from this edge or this face to this edge sorry no this edge the edge is not selecting which means uh, we need to make some changes in the selection or uh, let me directly put the fillet over here 43 millimeters the fillet is now clear now specify the radius values pick on the fillet around here from this top edge to this top edge this fillet is of uh, 12 millimeters 12 enter the value here is 12 similarly pick on the fillet the uh, fillet from this press hold control pick on this edge 
press hold control click on this edge and this value to be uh, 23 millimeters this is how the round can be specified and set the default orientation and uh, specify the round and the uh, front edge of the cylinder as three millimeters there exists one oil pool here which is not visible in the model pick on the extrude placement define pick on this plane pick on sketch pick on sketch view draw a circle which will be approximately here so the having the diameter of six millimeters and uh, its distance from this end to this point as uh, 25 millimeters pick on done extrude it in this direction it should not cut through all should have a blind depth cut the material done set the default orientation of the model now cut uh, the hole which is used for passing the bolt from the bottom pick on the extrude placement define pick on this plane pick on uh, sketch draw the concentric circle with respect to the existing circular pad this uh, diameter to be 23 pick on done reverse direction cut the material cut the material options through all pick on done now the hole has been cut almost we are done with the model and uh, there is no missing feature we can specify the round values if required here we can round pick on this end for round of three millimeters accept it thank you for uh, watching this video if you like this tutorial then please visit my channel and check for the videos in the playlists.